anyways wow Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be going over the all new Lincoln Navigator with the monochromatic package. Before we get into this video though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo, Utah for giving me some time with this Navigator. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions, you need any help, just ask for John Jenks. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel climbing 16 around town and then 22 on the highway with power outputs being 440 horsepower and then 510 pound feet of torque. Now before we go to the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So taking a look at the hood, you guys can see we've got distinctive lines there in the center and I think it looks pretty good. And now popping down below, you guys can see we've got these cool daytime running lights here with the LED headlamps and then you guys can see where the turn signal indicator is just down below that. And then if we could pop further down below, you can see the fog light area. Anyways, we've got parking sensors here at the bottom with the blacked out trim. And then notice that the grill is actually white. So this is what the monochromatic package does is it basically makes it so that the grill is matched to the body painted color, hence monochromatic. And look at the Lincoln logo. That thing is crazy looking. And putting it all together, just like the Escalade, this has this like large stately appearance to it. Coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 285, 45, 22 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the wheels, they are all blacked out. Glad that they uh, did not do the monochromatic thing on the wheels. That would have looked kind of funky. Notice we've got the navigator badge here and you guys can see the background, again, body painted. Mirrors are body painted. You've got the door handles that are also body painted, but you've got some chrome accenting throughout and then also there at the bottom, which is pretty cool. And taking a look at the full side profile here of the Navigator, you guys can tell this is the uh, longer version because you got the uh, bigger booty, but it looks good. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, remote start, the opening here for the hatch, and then the Lincoln logo there on the back. So we'll press this a couple times. And I guess we'll press it a couple more times. <laughs> now it'll open. So actually popping to the back, there's quite a bit of storage space behind the third row. And what you also notice is we've got all these controls right here. Um, so for like the second row, you can just lower down the seats, but for the third row, you can raise and lower the seats automatically, which is pretty cool. And then underneath here, and it's even more storage. Um, so yeah, just tons of practicality back here. And again, this is the big benefit of the L is you just have more storage. And then when you're all done, just press that button right there and that will lower the hatch right back down. Now we have this light bar here in the back and it's really cool when you unlock it, how it just kind of like <laughs> comes out. It's pretty neat. You got the Lincoln logo here in the back as well. And then you guys can see parking sensors there at the bottom with a bezel that covers the receiver hitch. And putting it all together, you guys can see, I think it's a pretty good looking SUV. Again, it ultimately is basically a luxury expedition. Now taking a look at the door panel here in the rear, you guys can see really nice padding here at the top and then also down below. And then look at the wood trim that goes across. Got our window control here, some speakers for the sound system as well. You guys probably saw, but we got the power side steps here and look at these seats here in the back. Really nice leather perforated all down the center portion. Then you do have your like little adjustment there on the side. So legroom here in the back is great. You guys can see we've got a little storage pocket here in the back. And we've got this control screen down below. So I can control the climate here in the rear if I want. And then also we've got here for the seats, heated and cooled seats for the second row. So lots of nice luxury features. And then you guys can see the charging ports down below and cup holders. And then headroom back here is also solid. Now the thing that's nice about the Navigator is you actually have really good legroom here in the third row as well. And then you guys can see here for the seats, which is pretty cool. So I can like recline my seat if I want. And then I got a little USB port. And then headroom's also great back here. Something to note is we've got a bunch of like vents here on the ceiling. Now taking a look at the door pan here at the front, you guys can see really nice leather trim just like the back and then look at like the recessed wood trim. All of our window controls and then your mirror adjustments. Again, the mirrors do power fold in and then we've got like a bajillion seat adjustments. It's crazy. Memory seat functionality, you got massage seat functionality. I mean, it's, it's got everything. And then speakers here for the sound system and then the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. Now here is the front seat that is mega adjustable and that's the reason why the seat is shaped the way that it is shaped, but it's extremely comfortable. And then you got the Lincoln logo just down below. 
We have our light controls right here and then you guys can also see the pedal adjustment right next to that and the steering wheel is power adjustable. So taking a look at the steering wheel, really nice leather trim all around. You got the darker stitching here in the center portion and look at the wood trim there at the bottom. Um, some control action for the center stack. You've got your voice command, volume controls, all that normal stuff in the steering wheel as well. And then notice it does have adaptive cruise control. Paddle shifters here on the back for the 10 speed automatic. And then we've got our turn signal stock and then our windshield wiper stock. Now we have this full digital gauge cluster here in the center, which I think actually looks pretty cool. Notice that we can change the whole format with the uh, gauge cluster. So for example, you can go to the calm screen where it won't show a bunch of information, but you can see basic vehicle info, just like a lot of other cars nowadays. We also have a bunch of different drive modes and it's funny some of the names on them. So most of these, right, you guys can see are pretty normal with the drive modes. But then over here on the other side, you got conserve and then you got excite. So yeah, f funny with the naming system. Now in reverse, we do have this full 360 camera system trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel as well. You got the bird's eye view on top of that. And so when it comes to, you know, camera system, it's pretty dang solid. Now as to the rest of the infotainment system, we have a shortcut bar here at the bottom. And notice how it like sparkles when you click on the icons. That is definitely uh, funky, that is for sure. Um, but the thing you're gonna want to know is gonna be the seats. So there's like, like I said, a million different adjustments here, even in the infotainment screen, you got the massage function as well. And then you can also, you know, adjust everything with the passenger seat. So it's just, it's quite a bit to take in. Really nice leather trim here on the dash, as you can see. And then it's probably not gonna pop up on the camera very well, but we got more recessed wood trim there in the dash as well. It creates just like a cool effect and then more leather trim down below that. So that's just shortcut button for the camera system. Then I like with the vent, Makes like a nice clicking sound. Anyways, transmission selector, it's just down below that. And then radio controls, got our dual zone climate controls. Again, also have heated and cooled seats as well. And then we have this like giant wood tab that covers the wireless phone charging pads some USBs. And then you can see cup holders and everything right there. And then notice right here is the drive mode select. We also have our parking assist, auto stop, start, auto hold, and then your parking brake as well. And then opening up the center console, plenty of storage space in there and then really nice wood trim and leather padding on top of it. And don't you worry, this has a huge glove box. It's a big glove box for a big SUV. And I like this metallic trim. Like it goes to obviously the gear selector, but it's just really nice all the design details. We got a sunglass holder up top and then controls for the full panoramic sunroof. So here's the pricing. This one is a 201A equipment group a reserve navigator, if you guys are wondering. Um, after all options, this one stickers for $106,315. And again, it's an L as well. Haha, I rhymed. It's really big. Let's see how it drives. Okay, so let's talk about visibility here in the Navigator before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, just do a blind spot monitoring and throughout the rest of the rear. And <laughs> this tab thing always gets me. Let's uh, officially set off. I guess we're reversing off first and then we will be setting off. I do want to mention these seats are super comfortable here in the new Navigator. Now the L is pretty dang long. And so definitely have to do a little bit more turning but what i will say is the independent suspension helps out quite a bit with the turning radius there we go so actually getting up and moving now i do need to mention um, i'm going to be using this video for two different videos um first is for this navigator review um the other one is for a video comparison to a jeep grand wagoneer with the new hurricane engine which i think is going to be really cool to do a comparison because both of them have twin turbo six cylinders and what i will say is right off the bat i'm not i'm not saying this is a you know a person that doesn't like ford product because i love ford product i happen to own two of them this powertrain doesn't feel as torquey on the low end as the grand wagoneer does with that new hurricane engine um, now they actually have similar torque figures that has 500 pound feet this has 510 pound feet um so right in the same uh range but that has more horsepower that has like 510 horsepower and whereas this you know quite a bit lower in the mid 400s 
So there is that difference there. I can't tell if these people are slowing down or not. <laughs> okay, wait, they are, they are, they are, they are. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, I just had to double check. I'm not gonna, not gonna pull a $100,000 vehicle out into an intersection when I don't have the right of way. Anyways. Wow. That is crazy. Hey, you can really perceive the difference driving them back to back. Like, again, it makes sense. Cause like you just look at the power figures that has more horsepower. So yeah, it's gonna pull harder, but like, Sometimes vehicles have more power and you can't actually perceive it, but you actually can with this. Anyways, with the Navigator, super comfortable seats. I mean, you've got tons of luxury features. The ride quality is amazing. Uh, really good luxury vehicle, frankly. And it's more than just a, you know, quote unquote luxury expedition. Uh, that is something that does need to be noted. And so still super impressive offering. And, you know, you can't, <laughs> In this case, man, you guys will have to watch my comparison, but it seems like you can't go wrong. Yeah, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this uh, new Navigator though.